Living plants contain oil. Some have only a trace. Others have it in abundance. The soya bean or soybean, is one of the oldest crops grown by man. Its origins were in the Far East, where it has been a staple food for thousands of years. Indeed, the word soy comes from the Japanese. In the 19th century, the Western world began to recognize the value of the bean and the oil which came from it. Cultivation spread to Europe. then the Americas. Today in the United States, soya beans are grown throughout the Midwest, that vast region south of the Great Lakes through which the Mississippi flows down to the Gulf of Mexico. To the north lie the states of the Corn Belt, where the soya bean now rivals maize as the major crop. Iowa, Indiana, Ohio, Missouri, and the Prairie State the land of Lincoln, Illinois. Illinois, a land of wide plains where the wind is always heard. Sometimes just a breeze, sometimes a tornado leaving a swathe of devastation in its wake. In summer, a torrid heat. In winter, the touch of freezing metal can take the skin from the fingers. And a rich, fertile soil that gives the highest yield of soya beans per acre in the world. A farm in Kane County, Illinois. In April, all over the Corn Belt, the tractors are turning the earth, preparing for another year's crop. Then the harrows, breaking the furrows, working the soil into a fine tilth. Here is the most modern equipment and the latest agricultural techniques. Farming in Illinois is a highly mechanized business and hundreds of acres can be worked by one or two people. Though in some ways, the farmer's life is little changed. The work is still hard and days still long. Planting soya beans is not just a matter of putting seeds into the ground and standing back to watch them come up. Soya beans are legumes, one of the peas and beans family, whose healthy growth depends on the production of nitrogen from the soil. And to encourage this, the beans are treated with a special bacteria culture before being poured into the seed boxes for planting. Drums on the side of the tractor contain water to which a concentrated herbicide or weed killer is added. Sprayed from the planter, this will protect the young soya beans until they are properly established from the competition of weeds. Four rows are planted at a time, the small wheel at the side keeping the lines parallel as the farmer drives backwards and forwards across a field that may be anything up to a mile square.
Then, a few days after planting, a rotary hoe on a light tractor is run over the soil, breaking up the crust. This helps the young shoots to come through, and it also destroys any weeds which may have survived the herbicide. The first shoots appear in five or six days, and in two weeks, the beans will already be four inches high. Hoeing continues as the plants develop, the soil crust again being broken and the weeds uprooted. Some bean plants are destroyed in the process, but the initial density of planting makes sufficient allowance for this. Spring brings the rain, but even the topsoil quickly dries out on these open plains. But the soya bean, being deep-rooted, will still flourish. The heavy rains of spring and early summer are gone. The plants flower and the bean pods begin to form. By now, the plant is taking up a large quantity of its nitrogen from the air within the soil. And on the roots can be seen the nodules where the bacteria are found which make this possible. After harvesting, the surplus nitrogen, on average 16 pounds per acre, goes back into the ground, helping to regenerate the soil. Such is the importance of the soya bean crop that its cultivation is now the subject of research at the agricultural departments of universities throughout the growing areas. At Illinois, varieties of soya bean from all over the world are being used to develop strains which may give greater yields, have a richer oil content, compete better with weeds, or have greater resistance to disease and insect attack. New, taller varieties are being bred, so the combine harvesters will not cut into the bean pods. It is the plant breeder's job, by careful cross-pollination, to combine as many desired characteristics as possible in a single plant. It may take years of experiment, but out of the work of the plant breeder and the researcher, soya bean yields in Illinois may sometimes reach 80 bushels an acre, against an average of 30 to 50 bushels in other parts of the world. Spring, summer, and now autumn. The beans are brown and tall. The pods are dry and may be cracked open two to three beans in a pod. The time for harvest has come. Thirty acres a day a combine harvester can cover. That may be 1,500 bushels of beans. Most farmers have a combine of their own, but at harvest, time is short and others may be hired. They work together in twos and threes, reducing the sea of brittle stalks to a shaven stubble. It's dusty and hot in the harvest field, and when the farmer's wife appears with food and long cold drinks, she is fairly sure of a welcome. culmination of a year's work. Beans rich in oil, up to 20% of their total weight, for margarine, for cooking fats or salad oils, and some for industrial use. Apart from oil, the soya bean meal is rich in protein, containing twice as much as beef, and after oil extraction, 
The residue is an important ingredient in animal feeding stuffs. The beans may end up in the cities of the United States. They may go north to the ports of the Great Lakes to be shipped to the world via the St. Lawrence Seaway. Or down the waters of the Great Mississippi for St. Louis and Memphis or for ocean-going ships at New Orleans. From its early beginnings, soya bean has become one of the most important crops in the world today producing oil in abundance, contributing to the food supply of the world. <laughs> 